And uh, Sister um, uh, had this note here that Amy, Chelsea, and Caleb want to be baptized on Easter Sunday. Oh, praise the Lord. Thank you. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Sunday. Water baptism for this family just coming into the church. And um, I'll get a moment and we can speak with them perhaps. But um, when they are in here together, I think the two of them are out right now. But uh, we, let's receive our offering. Uh, did you bring your Wednesday night offering? And brethren, assemble the baskets back there and we'll pass them among the congregation. Uh, get them ready and the offering pans. And let's give our Wednesday night offering and before we go. Uh, have you enjoyed being together again? Amen. Amen. It's been a wonderful night. It's been a great gathering of God's family. And I pray the Holy Spirit has enlightened you in His Word and given you uh, strength. In his word. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise our God. Let's sing that song, Sister Marlo. Uh, blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Amen. Amen. Is that all right? Praise our God. Blessed assurance, my Lord. Jesus is mine.
by the New Testament is not sprinkling, it's not just a little water on the hand, the head. The word baptism comes from the word in Greek, meaning to submerge or immerse you. We're going to place you under the water. As Christ went into the tomb, was buried, and he resurrected and came forth. And when you're baptized, you will rise from the water a new creation, baptized, not into the Bradenton Gospel Tabernacle, but baptized in the name of Jesus, which is the surname, the stock name, the family name of the family of God in heaven and in earth. My name is Marlo. I'm a father, but that's not my name. My name is John Paul Martin. Jesus is the name of the family in heaven, the family in earth. When you're baptized, the ministers that will baptize you, we have no other credential to baptize you in any church but into Christ, following the example of the church 2,000 years ago. We'll baptize you and your girls in the name of Jesus as an act of good conscience. First Peter 3 and 19. Matthew 28 and 19. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. But that name is Jesus. And there's none other name given under heaven whereby men can be saved. <laughs> when you're baptized, that is not salvation. You have been saved. You are born again. I was personally present when the Lord slayed you in His Spirit. And the Spirit came upon you. And so you're baptized in the Spirit. Baptizing you in water is an act of obedience, an act of good conscience, fulfilling part of the doctrine of baptisms, water, spirit, and fire. And when you arise, it is as simple as it will be Easter of the resurrected Christ in your life. And you're committed to Christ in water baptism the rest of your life. You're baptized. Praise the Lord. Sister John. Thrills me <coughs> to know that the church is growing. Yes. Yes. Reaching out. And families like this started their journey in our vacation ministry. That's where they found the church. That's where they came to the church. And now, they're here. They're part of us. By the way, have we welcomed this family? I, I stand up there. Stand up there. Let everybody see. Now, the little one's not in here, but uh, stand up. Let them. Let's welcome them. We love them. We love them. We love them. We love them. Oh, Sister Tanya, I didn't see your hand back there. I'm so sorry. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Do, you, do, you have a, do you have a microphone? Somebody. We won't let her leave here without being satisfied. In the Word. But I'm, I'm going to need some, um, someone to help me to translate to English. So I don't know if one of the brothers... Yes, well, let her speak. Uh, where's for the people? She wants to speak no. in, uh, I think, in the Spanish, and you translate in the English. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Praise now, the Lord. You may be missing a little sleep, but it won't hurt you. Get this. I just got to say something. Um, this is in Galatians chapter 4. And um, I just want to say what the Spirit of God has put in my heart to say tonight. Yes, say that. But I'm going to read it in Spanish if you can follow with what your Bibles 
that will be fine. What is it, Galatians? Galatians chapter 4. Did you say Galatians? Chapter 4. Okay. Galatians chapter 4. Let's follow her along. <laughs> Um, pero también digo, entre tanto que el, que el heredero es niño, en nada, here, as as child, en, nada, en nada difiere del, del esclavo, servant, aunque es señor de todo, all, sino que está bajo tutores and and y curadores hasta el tiempo señalado por el Padre. The Así también nosotros, Cuando éramos niños. When we were children, estábamos en esclavitud, we were in bondage, bajo los rudimentos del mundo. Under the elements of the world. Pero cuando vino el cumplimiento del tiempo, but when the fullness of the time was come, Dios envió a su hijo, God sent forth His Son, nacido de mujer, made of a woman, y nacido bajo la ley, made under the law, para que redimiese to redeem a lo que estaban bajo la ley. that they were under the law. A fin de que recibiésemos that we might receive the adoptions of sons. La adopción de hijos. Y por cuanto sois hijos, and because you are sons, Dios envió vuestros corazones, God has sent forth the spirit of his son el espíritu de su hijo, into your heart. El, cuanto, el, cuan, el cual clama Abba Padre. Cry Abba Father. Así que ya no eres esclavo. Wherefore they are no more a servant, sino hijo. but a son. Y si hijo, and if he is son, también heredero de Dios, and there of God through Christ. Por medio de Cristo. Through Christ. Ciertamente, How big? En otro tiempo, that when you knew not God, no conociendo a Dios, you not God, servías a los que por naturaleza no son dioses. You did service unto them which by nature are not gods. Mas ahora, but now, conociendo a Dios, after that you have known God, más bien, siendo conocidos or rather Dios, now of God, ¿cómo es que es os volvéis de nuevo, de nuevo a los débiles y pobres rudimentos? How turn ye again to the weak and to the garbage? A los cuales os queréis volver a esclavizar. Because the element where into you desire again to be in bondage. Guardáis los, de, los días, los meses, you observe the days and the month and times los tiempos y los años, and years me temo de vosotros, I'm afraid of you que haya trabajado en vano con as vosotros. I have bestowed upon you labor in vain. Os ruego, Brethren, hermanos, que os hagáis como yo. I beseech you be as I am. Porque yo también me hice como vosotros. For I am as you are. Ninguno, ningún agravio me habéis hecho. You have not injured me at all. Pues vosotros sabéis que a causa de una enfermedad del cuerpo. You know how through infirmity of the flesh. Os anuncié el evangelio al principio. I preached the gospel unto you. Y no me despreciasteis ni desechasteis. At first, in any temptation, we was in my flesh. Por la prueba que tenía en mi cuerpo. You Antes bien. Me recibiste como un ángel de Dios. But receive me as an angel of God. Como Cristo Jesús. Even as Christ Jesus. And this is where I want to go to chapter um, verse 15. Donde pues está esa satisfacción que experimentabais? Where is then the blessedness you speak of? For I bear you record that if I had been possible, you have been plucked out your own eyes and have given them to me. Porque os doy testimonio de que hubieses podido, hubieras sacado vuestros propios ojos para dármelos. And I want to finish there. But have you asked yourself about what is the satisfaction of you serving the Lord? It's more to come to church. It's more just to come on a Wednesday night, a Saturday night, to come on a Sunday afternoon and evening, or to come on a Sunday morning or a Tuesday night. Have you asked yourself, 
what is your satisfaction? It has to be more than that. Yes. It has to be more than just come to a building. Yes. 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 It's actually have that have where the book of Revelation talks about in chapter two about your first love. That's exactly what we need God to be in our in our lives, our yes. first love. Yes. But more it's more than just coming in here. It's about praying and it's about telling other people what God is. That's it. You know, we're all here because someone came to me and preached the word of God. Yes. You know, and and it's sad when probably we're in the streets and we see people probably I'm sure not serving the Lord, but they are drunk. Maybe they being drugs. And we're not courage enough to talk to them about experience with God. Yes, with God. And maybe <coughs> Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let me be a witness. Maybe in, in years ago, maybe when you first came to the Lord, you had that passion, you had that love for the soul. Oh, Jesus. You, you want to have that relationship with God. Jesus. But sometimes things come to our lives that mm. that doesn't help us to go or to actually to get back. And, you know, I was reading the scripture sitting down here and, and I can feel this something like in my heart, like that I should say it or, or not. But it was more than, more than me. I mean, it was something inside telling me to get up and say it. Hey, hey. Yes. Not because I'm perfect, not because they I'm the person that I was they talking know. about myself, but Apostle Paul, he's the one who was talking to the church and probably we can start thinking about, you know, if, if we really feel that, that satisfaction serving God. Oh, Jesus, yes. It's it's more than just, yes. like I said, coming to hear. More than that. It's more than that. Yes, it is. And if we have to go back to that first love, oh, God. then we need to ask God so we can go back to that first love. Oh, my son. So we can have the passion for the soul. Oh, my son. That's everything I want to say. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah.